Hello, Mother. <laughs> you hear him, you Hello, Wink. Now you see him. There he is. There's your boy right there, Wink. Is this the fellow you were going to bring to see us today? That's Lover Boy. Lover Boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, you hear Philip? Uh, and Elvis Presley. Jerry, thanks a lot for getting him here today. Oh, you know, you, you were really one of the guys who uh, helped to get this ball started, weren't you? I helped Were you one of the first ones to play his records? You asked Elvis. I don't know. What about it, Elvis? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was, uh, I guess he was the first one in Memphis to play my records. Uh -huh. I mean, what happened, Wink? Uh, it didn't cost me much. It didn't cost you much. <laughs> he went out, he recorded a record for Sam Phillips, and one night uh, Sam brought the record up to the radio station. And I listened to the record, and I said, man, I said, one hit, one of them's got to go. That blue moon, and that's all right. And I got Elvis's home phone number. Yeah. And I called, and his mother ain't the phone. I said, uh, Mrs. Presley, I said, is Elvis at home? She said, no, he's down here watching the Western the Sousa. <laughs> <laughs> and I called out to see him and asked Presley to come up there, and he come on up the stage and we cut loose of that record. You know what I thought about the record called? That's all right. You know what made that record? What? Dee, 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 dee. How's it go, Elvis? I forgot. <laughs> that's been a long time. Well, that's, how about me singing a song here? All right, hurry it up. I know, yes, it's me, and I'm in love again. Then I yes, it's me, and I'm in love again. That's okay. the only one you know. It. No, I know, uh, uh, well, I better not give that one. All right, do one <laughs> chord, Elvis. Come on, one little chord. Right oh, quick. You with me, Elvis? I'm with you. You got your knife with you? You got your pick? <laughs> and there's a flock of them flew over there. Hey, Y'all about the G Daddy's the Wurlitzer. G Daddy's the Wurlitzer? Let's go, let's go, Kat. You ready? You go ahead. I'll wind you, you up. You're going to wind me up. Where the land of love my punch. Where's the mic at? I don't see no mic. <laughs> Not the mic? That's it. Go ahead. You ready? I'll tell you what you do, Elvis. You hold the card. I don't know how to hold it. You're left-handed. I can't. I can't. Mm -hmm. Don't know. break it. That's it right there, isn't it? Well, you got me. I can't play that. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Let's go. Yeah, well, that's not the song. What are we going to sing? You were singing Money, Money. Where well, the landlord rang my front door bell. I let it ring for a long, long spell. I went to the window and I jumped straight out. I said, what is it, baby, that's on your mind? She said, Money, honey. <laughs> money, honey. Okay. Hello, baby. Thanks a lot, dude. Mark Bell, I want you to meet one of the nicest guys in show business. Oh. Elvis Presley, he's a clean boy. One of the hottest guys that's ever hit show business. I realize yeah, that, and that's... You ain't kidding, man. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Thank, buddy. Thanks a lot. Every right. time you want me, if you got the money, I'll be back, old buddy. <laughs> okay. You cost too much. Hi, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis, it goes without saying that uh, all of us here at Dance Party appreciate very much your taking time out today to come by and say hello to all of our friends that watch Dance Party and also the people who are with us here on the floor today. And uh, it's nice that you were able to spend these past few days at home. How is it that you've been at home for so many days in a row here? Well, it's uh, it's the first time I've been off in months. I've been on the road. I've been I've been out on the West Coast and everything. And uh, I decided I needed a little rest. A few days off, huh? Yeah. Well, you don't want to go too fast now. And I'd like to say that uh, I really enjoy it. I'm mean, out here, you know, all these people. Well, we're certainly glad to have you here. Elvis, we want to ask you a few questions and... Uh, shoot. Shoot. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's go back to the beginning, first of all, to uh, your quick rise to fame. First of all, how old were you when you first remembered being attracted to music and singing? And Well, how old were you? How'd you get started? And when'd you get that first guitar? And where'd you get it? That's a lot of uh, good, uh, questions. Let's start with the first question. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. How old were you when you first... When I first started uh, singing, well I, well, I never sung in my life until I made my first record, you know. Uh-huh. I, uh... Where'd you get that guitar? I got it uh, in Mississippi. I, it cost twelve dollars, I think. Twelve dollar guitar. Yeah. It was a uh, it was a Gene Autry guitar. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about Roy Rogers now? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do with that first guitar? What happened to it? Well, uh, I had some uncles that, that that picked a guitar a little bit, and I, I sat down and watched them all the time, and, and uh, I just just picked it up watching them. But I mean, I never thought I would make anything doing it, you know. Uh huh. And uh, you know. And, uh, well, now, uh, when you were graduated you know, from Humes High School, did you expect to pursue singing and, uh... I didn't even expect to get out of Humes High School. <laughs> <laughs> that takes care of that question. Very well answered. No, I tell you, uh, uh, I, I never even thought of singing as a career. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I, uh, I was ashamed to sing in front of anybody. I, uh, Except my mother and daddy. Then all of a sudden you started singing in front of people, and uh, all, all of a sudden one day I just got a sudden uh, uh, ur uh, urge to go in this in this recording studio, which was Mr. Sam Phillips' uh -huh. Memphis Recording Service, and and, 
and he told me that he might call me sometime, you know. Mm -hmm. And he called you. So he called me. It was a year and a half later. I was an, I was a, I was an old man with it. <laughs> well, now, Elvis, regarding your hobbies and so forth, will you consider cars or sports cars and interests or hobbies? Cars. You don't have any cars? No, uh, well, I heard obstacles. My dad has got pressed his used car out of one of No, uh... How many cars do you have, by the way? I got, uh, four and a Master Schmidt and a motorcycle. What kind of cars are included in the four cars? All of them Lincolns. <laughs> <laughs> he said that for the benefit of Jerry Phillips. But actually, they're what? They're, uh... Ah, uh, man, I don't want to sign anything. Okay, okay. <laughs> Now, uh, 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 I tell you, the reason I bought those cars is maybe someday I'll go broke and sell one of them, you know. Sell one of them have a little extra money on hand. Yeah. You uh, have experienced a phenomenal rise to popularity, Elvis, in the course of a few months' time. How did you first uh, feel when, you, when your records first started to be accepted by the people and bought by the public? Didn't you have a sort of a sensation? And, and well, I tell, you, uh, I tell you, Wink, it, it all happened so fast, and so I didn't even have time to think about it. it uh, everything just... just just like, like that, that, you know? And, uh, and it just kept going and it's still doing that way and I, I, I can't even think about it. In fact, uh, I don't even like to wake up in the mornings. I'm afraid I might wake up. Wait, it might be all over. I'm afraid I might be back driving a truck. <laughs> Some people have said they don't like the way you jump around, move when you sing, Elvis. Now, does this help you or is it an, un is it an unconscious motion which sort of goes with the mood of the song? Is that a hard question uh, to ask? Well, I tell you, I, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not doing it on purpose. I mean, I'm aware of everything I do at all times, but it's just the way I feel. I mean, if if I were, I, I can just picture somebody singing uh, a rock and roll song standing real still. I mean, I, I, actually, I'd go nuts standing there, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I just, I, I uh, yeah. And people, that. people everywhere say, well, I know, and you've heard it too, more than likely. All this type of thing is just a craze and a fad, and like other fads and personalities in the past. Presley and rock and roll music will depart in due time. What is your feeling about this along this line? Well, I, uh, I'm inclined to agree with them. I mean, people change. I mean, sometimes they like you, and then again, and later on they don't. Mm -hmm. And uh, the rock and roll is, is real hot right now. Mm -hmm. And I like it. It's very good. It has a feeling. People enjoy it. People enjoy dancing to it. And uh, there's some very beautiful records made in rock and roll style, stuff like the Magic Touch, The Great Pretenders, and stuff like that. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they just don't make any, any prettier songs than that. Well, now, speaking of records, Heartbreak Hotel sold over a million copies, and undoubtedly uh, that was a pretty thrilling experience to be presented by the RCA Victor record people with a gold copy for you to keep for the rest of your life. Now, actually, didn't you like the other side better than Heartbreak Hotel? I, I like I was the one, but I like the royalty checks better on Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> well, which record, in your opinion, of all the ones you've recorded, do you like the best? I was the one. I was the one. Huh? Yeah. And that was on the other side of Heartbreak Hotel, and uh, we could say that both of them helped to sell a million copies. Well, how are things looking regarding your latest releases? My latest record, I Want You, I Need You, I Love You, has sold almost a million. It's only been out 15 days. Mm -hmm. it sold right close to 800,000. Pretty fast work, isn't it, people, huh? <laughs> Elvis, you've made many personal appearances, you've, you've played many one-nighters, and you've appeared on several big-time television shows, and you've sang. Now, which do you get the biggest kick out of? Which do you enjoy the most? Do you like the live personal appearances or television better? I like live personal appearances better. Any particular reason? Uh, well, I enjoy it. I mean, on television, you're limited, you know. I mean, you can only do, do so much, and, and uh, there's, there's so many rehearsals. You rehearse, and you rehearse, and you rehearse for more, don't you? Uh... By doing only so much, I mean that, uh, you know, you want to do a couple of songs, yeah. and by the time you get warmed up, well, they, they're, they're dragging you off. That's it. Well, of the cities and towns you've visited in the past few months, you've met lots of people, you've signed lots of autographs, and I understand you've uh, lost several shirts in the process. Well, uh, there's been some pretty wild stories, like the one of Kansas City, where my drummer was thrown in the orchestra pit. Uh, there wasn't even an orchestra pit there. <laughs> uh, what it was was a barn. Uh, well, actually, it was. It was more or less a great big barn we were playing in. And, uh, and they overran the police. They, I think there were about six policemen around the stage. And the people o overran the police. And I was singing, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> and, and I was right in the middle of the song. And I said, you ain't nothing but a hound. And out I went, man. I right the song. And there was a door. There was a door backstage. 
that I ran through. I mean, I, I knocked the lock off of it. I uh -huh. it. It was dark, and I couldn't see where I was going. I just knew the, where the door was. <laughs> you made a new door. I made a new door. And, uh, I mean, uh, there's a lot of stories to start, but... Well, now, that brings us around to something else. And we're getting around to the end pretty soon here. Uh, some people, and we discussed uh, we this the other day. <laughs> and about this Judy Spreckles, that I've been getting a lot of publicity with Judy Spreckles. Uh-huh. Uh, I got started when Judy gave me a ring out in Las Vegas. She gave me this ring here. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> what ring there? <laughs> it is a pretty big ring, isn't it? Would you show it to us, close yeah, up there? Yeah, sure. It's pretty big and a beautiful up. ring, too. Uh, she gave me this ring because, uh, I saw it in a window and I, I just admired it. But, but Judy is, is, a, is a very good friend. Judy is, is older than I am. Uh-huh. And, uh, She's engaged. She's uh, going to get married next month. Mm -hmm. And she's a real good friend, nothing else. Somebody started that she was wearing my ring and I was wearing her ring. We were wearing each other's rings. <laughs> That's the way it goes. How about the big uh, show at Rustwood Park schedule for July 4th? Bob Johnson surely, I know, wants us to mention that, and we want to mention it. I believe the proceeds from this show go to the Cynthia Milk Fund. Is that right, Elvis? Yes, sir. That's right. And uh, uh, I'd like to say uh, the word that... Uh, uh, let's see, what would I like to say? Uh, I'd, I'd like to say that we have a, a diamond ring that we're going to uh, have as a door prize. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's my initial ring. I've had it for some time, and it has 14 diamonds in it. And uh, we're going to give it away at the door as a door prize. I see. Uh -huh. And uh, everything. And all the, all the proceeds from this particular show, this is July 4th at Rustwood Park. Elvis is going to be there. He's going to sing and play. His band will be there. Many other stars will be there, too. And we will certainly want you to watch Bob Johnson's column in the Memphis Press Cemetery, watch all the publicity on it, and get your tickets in advance. Elvis Presley, I want to thank you again, because thank we know you're a busy man, and thanks a lot for coming by and seeing us at the dance party and saying hello to all your friends here in Memphis and the Mid-South. Anytime you're in town and want to come by, we certainly will welcome you. Well, thank you very much, Wink, and I'll see you again. Okay, thanks a lot. Elvis Presley.